Hello, I am a coffee technician and this is the Fiorenzato Pietro grinder and if you have one of these grinders and an extra set of burrs it's likely that you want to change between the multi-purpose and the pro brewing burrs and this video is here to help. Only need three tools to take this apart and put it back together and less than five minutes an eight millimeter wrench, a ten millimeter wrench, and a 2.5 millimeter allen wrench. So let's get started. Open up the brew chamber by putting the handle at six o'clock Push the button, turn the handle, and the front burr carrier pops right out. Rear burr carrier is just held in with two bearings. Go ahead and grab that, give it a tug, and the whole thing comes out quick and easy. In the middle of the rear burr carrier, there is a flat. It's a 10 millimeter flat, and a 10 millimeter wrench fits in there perfectly. The eight millimeter wrench fits right on the front. Turning counterclockwise, you can see that the front auger starts to turn. And that's how we're going to change the burrs. So turn that counterclockwise until it comes free. There's a small plastic dish that comes off in the front also. And below that, there are two screws. Two screws are removed. Turning counterclockwise with your 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Once you do that, the rear burr is free. You can clean out any debris on this before installing your new burr. The new burr does come with the plastic holder and a new o-ring. Put your new burr back on, line up the screw holes, and put the screws back in the same way they came out. By snugging those down first, make sure that everything is in place. Once everything looks good, go ahead and grab that give it a quick turn to make sure everything's tight. Line the auger back up with the center hole, put that in, and tighten it down. Once that's down, you can hold on to the 10 millimeter wrench on the back, grab your eight millimeter wrench for the front, and give it a turn. When it's done, it's tight, it stops. So you can tighten it a little bit, but it doesn't need to be super tight. So we're done with this piece. You can clean up the grind chamber while you have it apart. Give it a quick vacuum. Make sure that there's no debris in the bearing area. And the rear burr slides right back in, right where it came from. Front burr, also quick and easy. There's a hole in the front right next to the button. And that hole is for your Allen wrench to slide through and reach the front burr screws, which are opposed. And the tool goes straight through the front into the burr and it should pop. Go ahead and find the other one. And that's it. Loosen those screws until the front, bear, front burr is loose. Front burr is loose. You can take your new burrs, set them back on, line up the screw holes, and snug everything down. Once the screws are snug and everything feels like it's in place, you can go ahead and tighten those down too. Now the trick to lining the burr carrier back up and installing it into the grinder is to go ahead and line the button up to where it's engaged. Turn the auger so that the fin is pointed at six o'clock. And then line your burr carrier back up with the cutouts, turn back to six o'clock, and it's back together and ready to go. Thanks for watching.